Hello, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I built this Bluetooth speaker using a 3D printer and a speaker kit from Rockler. So I wanted a Bluetooth speaker for my desk that I could use to play music or podcast in the day while I'm working. I didn't need something super expensive and I've been seeing a lot of videos about the Rockler speaker kit. So I decided to pick one up so I can go ahead and experiment with that. First off, let's jump into the CAD and I can show you the design. All right, so this is the design that I came up with. I used Fusion 360 for this and it's pretty basic. I just have this outer shell and then I have a panel for either side and then I have this fitment ring to kind of adapt the speaker size. So I originally designed this enclosure to use the stereo speaker kit, but since they didn't have that in stock, I decided to just cut it in half down the middle, make a single speaker, and then adapt the hole so it would fit the smaller speaker. Now, I could have also done a redesign and made that hole smaller, but I really liked that blue accent on the front. I thought it looked good. So I named the speaker the Wave Mini since it's the smaller version of the original speaker I was going to make. I tried a technique to have the second layer embedded in the original layer using Prusa slicer. So I had it print the blue and then in the same build plate it would print the black for the rest of the enclosure. I'll be doing a video on how I got this multiple extrusion in one build plate to work with just a single extruder and I didn't use the multi-material upgrade or the palette 2 or anything like that. Be sure to subscribe so you can see that video when it comes out. So this is the speaker kit I ended up going with from Rockler, and it has the speaker, a single control unit, and the USB charger. Once I had the speaker kit, I went ahead and I printed all the parts. So first I printed the two side panels in a transparent blue from Matter Hackers. I thought it looked really good. So I have one with the hole cut out for the control panel, and then the other is just to cover the other side. The shell of the speaker actually printed in one piece sitting on the build plate with some support inside. One side did warp, but it was fine. It still sits perfectly flat on my desk. It doesn't shake too much. You can see here that I did make a mistake on having the word on the bottom be embedded in the same shade of blue that I used for the sides. It slipped my mind that it was transparent blue so that when you put black behind it, you wouldn't really be able to see it. This is what I intended for it to look like, but you know, things happen. It's, it still looks good, I'm not gonna complain. Maybe in a future version, I'll use a different accent color for the name. So the assembly started with just taking the control panel cover and then popping the controls into it. I did make sure to be careful and have the Rockler logo be flat, just for OCD's sake. All of these parts are pressure fit. I had designed the tolerances so that they I don't need any glue. Or fasteners. Then I took the main enclosure of the speaker and I popped that little uh, reduction bracket in so the single speaker kit would fit. Once I had that, I popped in the speaker. One thing to be careful of when putting the speaker in is that the battery is a little bigger than the cutout for the speaker, so I did have to kind of angle it to get in there. Once I had the speaker fit in, I went ahead and I unwrapped some of the wire, just enough to reach the control panel on the side. Then I went ahead and plugged it in. The white connector goes to the white jack and the red connector goes to the red jack. Be sure to you have the orientation right. There's a little um, a notch on the jack that fits into the connector. So from there, I just closed up that control panel side and then I popped on the other side. So overall, the assembly was super quick for this speaker. So off camera, I decided to add some screws on the sides. You can see here, I didn't have any issues without them, but I just wanted to be safe so it didn't fall apart while transporting later on. Overall, the speaker came out great. I think it sounds really good. I'll have a quick demo. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like below and be sure to subscribe for more future projects. Also leave a comment, do you prefer this, this background or the desk that I had earlier?